scientists are now predicting a dead satellite that's been in orbit for 20 years may hit Earth this week sooner than first expected. That satellite is the size of a bus, and scientists say pieces of it will burst into flames and fall to Earth. As ABC's Gina Sanceri reports, predicting where that space junk will fall is not easy. The crash zone of the upper atmosphere research satellite is hard to pinpoint because it's tumbling now. Its path changes every hour and a half. Scientists won't know where it will hit until two hours before impact. As it's coming down in altitude, then it, it reaches more and more drag, and so it will determine what part on the Earth uh, gets hit based on the orbit plane of the spacecraft and the rotation of the Earth. Oh, and lift off. Yours launched from the Space Shuttle Discovery back in 1991 to investigate the atmosphere. At that time, engineers didn't know how to safely deorbit a satellite once it's outlived its usefulness. Now, everything that's launched has enough fuel so it can be safely brought down in the ocean. 150 tons of meteorites, large and small, hit the planet every day. One was spotted over California last week. Some pieces are so small they aren't ever found. But scientists say they know many parts of URs won't burn up on reentry. These 26 components, which we do anticipate will survive all the way down to the surface, will be going at a moderate velocity, typically on the order of tens to hundreds of miles per hour. So pretty much the entire planet will be watching for this fiery reentry. And the odds of anyone getting hit? The odds of any one person out of the seven billion on the planet being struck by one of these 26 pieces is on the order of one in 3,200. When the dust settles after URs crashes later this week, scientists want to remind us they're still monitoring 22,000 pieces of debris orbiting our lonely planet. Gina Sinceri, ABC News, Houston. The satellite is only 130 miles above the Earth and it's going around the planet once every 89 minutes. Can you imagine something like that? coming no. into your universe, hello, that's Very so scary. scary. And the hard part is the orbit pattern looks like a squiggly spirograph, mm. so it's hard for scientists to predict where, where it's going to land. And it's pretty wide, I believe, as well.